Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. Today we are going to discuss about Crosstab in PySpark. So Crosstab is a very familiar concept that we do have in Python and Pandas as well, but in PySpark, how to do that. And before getting into Crosstab, I will tell you what this Crosstab is all about. But before that, I just wanted to show you a small example before we start knowing what is actually a Crosstab. Fine. So if you see here, I have a data set for today's exercise and I have uh, I've just created a data set and I'm converting that to a data frame. So you can see here I have name and age. So I have six records here and then I'm creating a header as name and age. Now I'm creating a data frame, data comma header and df.show. Let me execute this first. Okay, so now if I if you see here, I'm getting the name and the age. If you see Gautam 29, Rahul 25, and again Gautam is repeated 29, and Rahul is 25, and one more record Saravan and 30, and again Gautam is repeated with a different age of 23. Now I want to do a group by and get the count. Imagine. So that is very easy, right? So df dot group by name and then dot count dot show. So now you will be getting Gautam total record as 3 that is with the age of 29. So if you see here the age of 29 I am having 2 plus with the age of 23 I have 1 record for Gautam. So totally 3. Rahul. So with the age of 25 I have 2 records. So only 2. So 2. And Saravanan it's only 1. Now what exactly the cross tab is? So cross tab otherwise called as contingency table. So what exactly this cross tab does is you have a data set and actually so the frequency between two or more than two variables. So cross tab actually shows us the frequency between two or more than two variables. In statistics, this cross tab is very familiar topic actually. So it represents a matrix format of table, the data into a matrix format, and then it shows the frequency distribution of data between the variables. Okay. So this all like seems to be a technical term to understand, right? So let me show you an image. Then you will really understand what exactly a cross tab is. So this is actually a cross tab. So if you see here, female cake, female who loves cake, four. And then female who like ice cream, three. Female who like donut, six. And then male, again cake. So here female and cake is variable and we are just seeing the values for female is to cake is 4 and female is to ice cream it is 3 female is to donut so here we have female is one variable cake as an one variable and female is one variable and ice as an another variable female is one variable and donut as an another variable so now we are getting the distributions of data between these two variables so this is what actually a cross tab is all about so now how to achieve the same with respect to PySpark so now df dot cross tab and then name so it 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 just takes two arguments so name and age dot show so now we will be getting a cross tab here now if you see here name age is a, a column that has been created on its own like we can have a custom column name as well so here if you see gautam this is one variable and age 23 is another variable so gautam is to 23 so we have one record like you can see here the last record here and then gautam 25 no record zero and gautam 29 we have two records so this one the first record and the third one so similarly rahul and then saravanan so this is what a cross tab is all about this is just to identify the frequency frequency table or otherwise called as a cross table they used to call it in either way and also we have something called contiguous table which is in the statistical world they used to call it in that way so this is all about getting the frequency of your table this is what all about this cross tab is so this is actually asked in one of the interviews so that's why i just wanted to make this video so you can practice this more you have more sub options as well you can just practice this so if you really like this video please do subscribe channel and follow this to your friends and colleagues and i do have lot of big data videos it's more than 60 plus videos are there you can get the playlist link from the description box of this video thanks for watching